Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm back with another nail dip. And because I'm not applying anything abrasive on my nails right now, like dip powders or acrylic or anything that can cause damage, I'm going to be applying a set of Kiss Press On Nails from their Gel Fantasy Collection because I want the appearance, the look of acrylics without the damage because I'm trying to grow out my natural nails right now. So let's get right to it. Hey smileys, hey. I picked these up on my latest beauty supply run for $7.99. They're from the Kiss Gel Fantasy Collection and I love the color and the shape. They come in varying lengths. This one is extra long, but I've seen, I've seen nails way longer than this. So I don't know if I would describe them as extra long. The kit comes with 28 nails, nail glue, a mini file, a mini orange stick, and adhesive tabs if you don't want to use nail glue. First, I picked out and set aside the nails that best fit my natural nail shape. They don't always fit perfectly, so you may have to do a little extra shaping, which is fine. Press-on nails are a great way to add length and style to your natural nails without the damage that comes with a gel or acrylic manicure. And some people even reuse them, so you save time and money. That's called a win-win, people. I start with nail prep. I remove any nail polish from my nails using a cotton swab and a bit of nail polish remover. You want to make sure the natural nail is clean and free of dirt and oil. Then I push back and shape my cuticles. I'm using a metal cuticle pusher which I've grown to really like. The metal cuticle pusher is easy to clean and disinfect and is easy to use. Love it. After that, I use a file around the cuticle to buff away any remaining roughness. Because these are my natural nails, I'm using a file with a gentle grit. This one is 180 grit on one side and 240 grit on the other side, I think. The higher the grit, the smoother the file. And finally, I use a buffer to finish my nail prep and then I wash my hands and nails using a nail brush and soap. So here's what they look like after the nail prep is complete. I'm making some progress with my nail growth. I have had a few breaks on my right hand because I'm right handed and I do a lot more with that hand, which is okay. I'm also going to apply a coat of the Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle Growth Treatment. I know this may interfere with how well the press on nails adhere to my natural nails, but honestly, I'm more concerned with making sure that my natural nails are safe and protected than I am with how long the press-ons last. These are said to last a week or about seven days if you use the nail glue. But because I'm looking for the application with the least effect on my natural nails, I'm going to use the adhesive tabs instead. It doesn't say how long they'll last using the adhesive tabs. With that said, they probably won't make it through the day. I'm just saying. The adhesive tabs are numbered to match the numbers noted underneath the nails to make it easy to determine which tab goes on which finger. But there's 28 nails and only 24 adhesive tabs. I don't know, but that don't add up, kiss. The tabs basically work like double-sided tape. To use them, peel the appropriate size off the sheet and apply the tab directly to the natural nail. Then press it down and smooth it out over the nail bed. Then you're going to remove the film. Next, align the press-on nail with the cuticle and press it down firmly in the middle and on each side. Make sure it feels secure before moving on to the next one. Repeat this process on each finger. A quick tip, press down the press-on nail several times and after they're applied, avoid getting your hands wet within the first hour. Press-ons are not the longest lasting of nail options. Some only last just a day or two. 
but these are ideal if you're someone who likes to change up your nails a lot or if you don't have a lot of time to spend at a salon or doing your own nails. Press-ons have come a long way. There are so many different colors, lengths, and shapes available. Some have nail art, some without. Some have a shiny finish, some have a matte finish. And with such a cost-effective price, they're great to have on hand as an emergency mani backup. You never know when you'll need an emergency mani. I really like this color and shape on my nails too. It's a coffin or ballerina shaped nail and I describe the color as a cranberry or wine color. I don't know. The box didn't give a name for the color but it's cute. And these are also easy to remove. You just use nail polish remover around the edges, wait a minute or two and they come right off. So here's what they look like after they're all done. Lastly, I just go in with a nail file to smooth the edges. You know, they have that little sharp tip on it, so I just use the file to get rid of that. The total time took about 20 minutes, and I think they look great. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful, smileys. If so, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.